If you've taken classes with me, you know that I usually wire and tape or I glue, but natural stem, it's on trend. And with ranunculus, works fabulously. You'll find more education, more inspiration on our website, flowerschool.com. But now, it's your turn. This is an easy task. Find a ranunculus, make a boutonniere. You might want to wear it around town. Be sure to take a picture, post it on social media, and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love. At Floral Design Institute, we get so many calls and emails asking about ranunculus. Will they work in a corsage? Will they work in a boutonniere? Can I use it on a wristlet? The answer is yes. Let me show you how. To begin, gather all your materials. I'm going to use a single Gaelic sleeve, a little bit of Brasilia, a little bit of kangaroo paw, and just a bit of rice flour. Nice color and texture contrast. Of course, a ranunculus. To do the ranunculus, cut it down to about the length you're going to use. It doesn't have to be exact. Then, before you begin, using a 22 gauge wire, pierce right up through the base. When you feel the resistance, push just a little bit further into the head. You don't want to come out the top. So just to resistance, little bit of a push, then clip, and you're ready to assemble. This part's easy. Gather your materials into your hands. Adjust them so that they look lovely. And I purposely picked items that will dry nicely. And the ranocula, it will hold beautifully. Adding in the leaf. Bit of rice flour. Then, when everything's associated with where you want it to be, just kind of moving it around, wiggling, making sure it's precisely what you want. Then, using corsage tape, tack right up at the top. You don't need to go down the stems, but tack right at the top. Give it a tear. Cut your stems. Then, using ribbon, wire, twine, just bind the stems together. You can see that full demonstration online with Teacher Michelle's slideshow. But, isn't that quick and easy? 